Pokemon Black and White remakes have been confirmed. And I'll tell you why. Have a look on the screen. So, Pokemon Black and White, as we know, takes place in the Unova region, mostly. And I do believe that we're going to get those games announced on Pokemon Day, or at least being the next games coming out. Now, whether that is a remake style game designed by Elka, along with Game Freak, or whether it's a Legends type game, is left to be seen. But... Pokemon themselves have basically confirmed that these are the two games we're going to be getting. And I'll tell you why. That and more secrets coming up. It's your boy Firefox. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please help me grow my Pokemon following by dropping a like on this video. You don't have to subscribe, but hopefully that like will help it push to more persons. First things first, we look at the Pokemon Go Pokemon Day 4 post by the Pokemon Company. Now, that map in the back there does look very similar to the Unova region a map with this spaced out island separated in the middle of some surrounding area connected by a couple strips of bridges or what looks like some sort of landmass. Now if we look at the Unova region we do see a similar pattern in the map to what is being shown here. Now this is not the only thing that has confirmed for me that it can be the Unova region. If you take a look at this post here that Pokemon themselves posted on February the 11th we can clearly see Tepig in the front of the picture. He He's kind of very noticeable in the front there. Now, yes, you also see Moridon. You see Coridon. Could be leading to Generation 9. And you also see Piplup. But as you know, BDSP did feature Piplup heavily as him being one of the starters of that generation. And the only other starter, Tepig. And he is at the forefront, kind of giving away that the hint is going to be Generation 5, quote unquote. However, it doesn't stop there. It gets even better with Pokemon reacting to this on Twitter. Trash Trish Toons posted this on February 13th. Finished my hashtag Pokemon fan art for my black and white 2 team. And this is just a regular guy that doesn't even have a significant following base. However, the Pokemon company chose to respond to him specifically. What an amazing rendition of your team. Looks great, trainer. We love seeing your Pokemon in action. Share your favorite Pokemon teams with us as we count down to Pokemon Day. Hashtag Pokemon Day. And there's his team just showcasing what he would use in his Black and White 2 replay. Now, I found it very interesting that Pokemon themselves, hashtag Pokemon Day, would respond to Trash Toons. This is the first time I've heard about him. And we know persons like Riddler Koo and other leakers and other streamers that are very famous in Pokemon streams and just in Pokemon news in general. And they've made some claims and some teams and some posts, but Pokemon Company did not respond to them directly. However, they chose to respond to this one. Very neat, very simple, and very hinting towards Black and White 2 remakes, in my opinion. And last but not least, the significance of the Voltorb event in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You guys let me know in the comments down below. What is the significance and how does it connect back to Black and White 2? One more thing that persons probably didn't touch on is is the release of Gimme Ghoul in Pokemon Cafe Remix. As you can see in this post, speaking about two days remaining for the Pokemon Day to happen, we see Gimme Ghoul riding the back of Maridon. And he is not currently in the game. He is supposed to be coming very soon. So this is a hint of something else that is coming that you will see announced on Pokemon Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's your boy Firefox. Let me know if you want me to do some more in-depth videos on Pokemon Day and some of the rumors and leaks or even some more concrete information on the rumors and leaks that doesn't too much touch on what on what all the other content creators are covering yes we have reputable leakers in the community however i think taking some evidence from pokemon company themselves is very telling and very promising for what we can expect on pokemon day i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day it was your boy firefox until next time peace out